Hey, what's up everybody? This is Like It's 1985. This is my review of the Marvel Legends 2012 Deadpool. And as you can see before, this particular variant is the variant that has the X-Force costume. And pretty cool. Uh, before we take a look at the figure though, let's first take a look at the uh, packaging. Now the packaging on this is really interesting. Uh, starting with the front here. Uh, you can see it has a nice picture of uh, Deadpool. And you also get some more imagery here of other characters, uh, which is really nice, as you can see there. And on the back, of course, you get the larger picture. And what's interesting about this picture is a couple things. You can see back here, this is actually a, a poster of uh, the other X-Force members, uh, Archangel, uh, Wolverine, and Psylocke. It's kind of funny because it has a little heart around a Psylocke there. Uh, another thing that another reviewer pointed out is this right here. This is actually a really small image of Mystique. And I guess uh, Hasbro has been making these uh, pictures uh, to kind of give hints as to what's coming next. You can see here in uh, the larger Deadpool's hand, uh, on, the, uh, on his right hand, there's actually a small figure of Deadpool right there. <laughs> it's very cool. And uh, up here, you can see there is uh, Doctor Doom uh, getting his head uh, uh, snapped off uh, in uh, Deadpool's uh, left hand. Uh, so very amazing uh, detailed artwork and uh, fantastic. Uh, there's his uh, slogan there. And a look at the other figures in this line. Uh, Mystique looks really cool. She kind of looks like, uh, to me, like Angie Everhart, except Mystique. Uh, so it kind of looks like a combination of the two. So... Mm, yeah, definitely want to pick uh, that figure up as well. And I might pick up uh, Dr. Doom. Alright, so having a look at the figure, as with uh, all the figures in this particular wave, it does come with this stand, and these are interconnectable with other stands. Uh, there's three pegs here, and they can, uh, basically you can build them up vertically, or they can connect uh, horizontally, so you do have that. Uh, there is not a Build-A-Figure in this wave. Uh, weapons accessories. Well, let me start out with this one right here. Pretty nice uh, weapon there. Uh, got some red coloring there uh, in the front. It's really nice. And uh, taking a look at the figure here, you can see he's holding uh, his two uh, swords here. Uh, one in his right hand, one in the left hand. Now I do have to say uh, the way that the hand, uh, the right hand that is, uh, is sculpted. It, it, the sword is pretty loose. It's, it's, it's actually to the point of being frustrating uh, sometimes to pose a figure with a sword in this right hand because really the hand, as you can see, is sculpted to uh, grasp a, a firearm, uh, as is really uh, this other hand over here too, but it's got more of a sword grasping uh, grip uh, on the left hand, as you can see there. Uh, so, uh, other accessories. Well, he does have this uh, uh, pistol here. And it comes out of the uh, holster and it does actually hold in his hand quite nicely and then you got the two uh, sheaths here for the uh, for the swords here let me go ahead and put that uh, in place and show you there really nice and with that let's take a look at the figure itself starting with the head sculpt uh, as you can see lots of detail in the head sculpt you can see his uh, furrowed brow uh, some uh, lines or wrinkles I guess you'd say around his eyes really cool and he's got these pouches here got the uh, Deadpool uh, emblem there and I believe this is the X-Force uh, symbol it's got a harness here uh, which is attached also to the uh, the belt and of course it has the uh, sheaths for the sword attached to that as well. It's one uh, piece that's separate, uh, a separate uh, sculpt from the actual body. Now one thing I do want to mention about this figure is uh, starting with articulation. Let's start with, let's start with the feet and work our way up. I really wish the feet had a ankle pivot so you can pivot to the left and right because uh, at least I don't, I'm not able to get the figure to stand flat-footed uh, in, a, in a stance like this. It's, you can see there's actually he's uh, leaning on the in, inside of his uh, foot there. So a pivot actually would be nice to uh, uh, help this figure stand. I, I've had difficulties with this, uh, just getting this figure to stand uh, on his own there. Uh, maybe, it's just, maybe it's just me or uh, the way I'm posing it, but I do have uh, some issues with that. So ankle pivot would be nice, but as it is, you do get a uh, swivel there. 
and a hinge joint so you, the uh, foot can do that or really the ankle can do that I suppose all the way around uh, you got a uh, double band at the uh, knee which is nice articulation at the thigh and then you have the type of uh, hip joint where you have to turn the uh, ball here in the direction you want the leg to articulate so in this case there's that uh, uh, joint there so it can go out to the side but in order for it to go forward uh, the leg that is you have to rotate this around uh, so that that black stripe right there is facing in the direction you want to move the leg uh, so that's a little bit unfortunate because it's kind of a pain in the in the uh, butt to uh, get those uh, type of joints rotated rotated around um, looks like he does have just want to make sure here does have a swivel at the waist you can't really see it because the belts in the way uh, the ab crunch type of uh, ab articulation there and then he has the uh, wrist rotate and can go in in out you have a double band at the elbow and he can bend his elbow about to that degree there so there you go uh, swivel the bicep and then shoulders all the way around and like that uh, so you do have articulation there and actually you do have I just saw this right here uh, this other joint here that's between the actual chest or torso, uh, torso area and the actual shoulder so you, get, you have this uh, joint right there and finally moving to the head all the way around and up and down so there you go uh, looks like I got, I got a little paint problem there in his chest but otherwise that's pretty good quality figure uh, you can see the straps here nice nice detail with the straps uh, holding on his gun holster there so uh, yeah I, I actually got this figure off of Amazon and uh, I got it for near retail price I got it for like 18 19 dollars uh, normally they retail for about 15 or 16 so uh, not too bad and these uh, particular Marvel Legends tend to show up later than the rest of the country as far as uh, when they become become available in my area so there you go and uh, if you've seen my other action figure reviews uh, you do know I have the uh, I have the San Diego uh, Comic-Con uh, Marvel Legends X-Force uh, with Archangel, Psylocke and Wolverine so this guy here will be displayed along with those three so that's going to be pretty darn cool. And like I said, pretty cool figure. Uh, on mine, it's hard to stand. I wish it would have a ankle pivot. But there you go. It's been a look at the Marvel Legends 2012 X-Force costumed Deadpool. Thanks for watching.